Hello. Today's video, we're going to go over how to make a pop-up. The first thing we're going to do is come over to the component palette in the common components and place a pop-up in a empty facet there. And we'll take a look at the structure here. So in the structure here, we have the pop-up. And if you double click there, you can quickly get to the pop-up. And if you click here, you'll get back in. So you can toggle back and forth by uh, just clicking wherever. Click there, get into it, and get out. Now, one of the things I don't like about the, the pop-up is that you don't really see it. And it's very hidden, so you don't have it in there. But we would then set the facet to a, a height of zero, which also makes it a little bit more uh, difficult for you to see where it is. So I'm going to come up here and just take out, take out the five. OK. Now, we want to go over and set the pop-up ID to something that we can easily see. and use, and we'll just copy that. And then we're going to come over to the, come over here and drop a dialog into the pop-up. And that is on the common component palette, probably near the top, since it starts with a D. There it is. Sometimes it's just easier to do that. Now, if you come over to the property inspector, you can see that you have the types. So this would be none. This would be cat, OK, cancel. We'll leave that as is for now, and we might experiment later. Just going to refresh the data control. And I'm going to put in um, a form. I don't think I'll, I'll put this in later, I think, actually. Okay. So then we click here. Now, the use of the pop-up is, is that you might be in a table and you want to alter a single row in that table, and then you'd want to do it in the form. So we would take that there. We would then take a button, put this here, and we'll put it, we'll surround it with a um, panel group layout just so it doesn't um, take up the whole space there. We might need to open this up a little bit. This button seems a little long. And we will call it um, open or edit. Sounds better, doesn't it? Come on up and save it. Next, what we want to do is come over to the component palette. And in the operations area down here, click on that. And we want to put a show pop-up behavior. There it is under the button here. So we're just going to put it on top of the button. And you can make sure make sure that it isn't above it or next to it. You want to actually have it under it. So that it looks like it's a subset of the button. And we come over to the property inspector then. And the pop-up ID should be that. Picture type should be action. And OK, that looks like it's not finding it. So let's just go back to our pop-up and make sure i think i probably you know what it didn't save you have to click out of the field for it to save so let's go back to our button show pop-up behavior here and just put that there and you know, it turns red red again take that it disappears because it's now properly spilled we want to go back to the pop-up, actually, and put some data in there. Oh, no, we have it already. Sorry. 
Okay, one thing we did not do on here for the dialogue was to set the title. We got the type. Um, we can put an icon there, just make it a little bit more user friendly. Okay, now let's run this. We have our department table and we go over to finance and we press edit and there we have the finance department. Then we come over to shipping and we press edit and we still have the finance department. So we're missing something. Let's go back to here and you want to go over to pop up. So we'll go over to the structure, click on the pop up and change the content delivery to lazy cat uncached okay so now let's go back take that out and we'll rerun it and here we are we click on human resources we got it and we click on manufacturing and we got it okay so let's change this now to manufacturing and it didn't change it here so we need to have some sort of commit on here and um, this is a little bit I find it a little bit kludgy frankly if we come over to the structure window and take a look at the pop-up I don't know exactly what the best way of doing it is but I'm gonna put a commit on here all right, and if you have the commit, well, do you need to have the OK? So I would then want to click on the dialog and get rid of the OK, but maybe to keep the cancel. I don't like the um, control that you necessarily have here with the um, settings here because uh, I'll show you a bit later why it's more problematical. Okay, now we have the form. I've been playing around a little bit because it, some of the functionality was a little bit strange. But if I come in here and I press commit, now it updates there. And so you can see now that it's functioning as is intended. Okay. And I guess that didn't save. I'm going to just wipe this all out and then press cancel and it doesn't do anything. So that, that's what we want. Oh, we do want to get rid of that. Some, now, sometimes I've noticed that it's not refreshing. And I'm not exactly sure why. Oh, you know what? Maybe because I need to click out of it first. No, that did not seem to do it, did it? Let's try this first. So there is, seems to be a little bit of a, an issue here with certain fields that are not updating properly. There it goes, finally. But this isn't something you'd want to give your users. Now, the other thing that I have a problem with this is, is you have an edit button and GU say, okay, great. Well, you know what? A user is probably going to want to add something too. So if we come back here, and now we decide we're going to create something where we're going to put some new record in there. And uh, you can use create, um, create inserts better for a table. There are a little bit differences between them. I'm not going to go into them right now, but we'll just fiddle around with it because uh, what happens here is, is rather interesting. So now when I, you would think that this would work. Okay, here we are. We're just going to come over here and we're going to change this to shippings. We're going to press commit. It didn't update it. Impressive. There it goes. I don't understand why this isn't working properly, but let's say for now that we want to do create. Well, something happened here. I'm not exactly sure. But let's go back 
and let's do create oh yeah see now what happens is, is that it actually inserts on the main table but uh, it doesn't go to the record that you just created and so that's a minor issue that I don't like and if we did it here we're going to get very similar functionality it's I don't know exactly where it's being created but the department ID is being overwritten because it thinks it's a new record it's just very very difficult now uh, in my researching I found um, a fairly complex document on the web to uh, handle adding data uh, there we go and uh, it's quite a lot of work frankly and it looks like uh, you create a new row and then it would go out and actually create the new row and then go to that record but this is very uh, the, the problem I have with this is that it's very specific to creating a new record if you wanted to have a new an edit also so you'd ha you'd want to have one functionality that would be create a new row and then another edit uh, functionality that would edit the record you're going to have to have two different buttons and two different pop-ups. And uh, then you're going to have to do a lot of coding in the background to make sure this works properly, which to me seems like uh, very, very much more trouble than it's worth. So I would uh, recommend staying away from the edit or the pop-up and uh, using a partial page, I'm sorry, a JSSF, which would be the page fragments and then use that and just uh, use it in a dynamic region or something. So um, I'm going to put the steps out here quickly. All right. So one, use an empty facet. Two, drop facet or drop pop-up into facet. Three, set pop-up ID to something like this. Drag a dialog onto the pop-up. Set the title, set the type is OK, depending on what you want to use. Place a button on the form or in a menu. Drop a show pop-up behavior onto the button. Uh, 5B is to set the pop-up ID, pop ID of the pop-up. Um, I do this twice. But on the show pop-up behavior, that's what you want to set up. Oh, so you're on the show pop-up show pop-up behavior. Uh, then you would take the pop-up trigger action and then you would add content to the pop-up such as a form refresh the pop-up that was where we first opened it up and it wouldn't change to a different record so you change it to lazy uncached then um, pop-up message can be on menu perhaps also on a form um, we didn't really go over those but here is also the information that you can look at. This video is on doing is very similar to using the pop-up and uh, it's useful, but um, it is, I think, too much trouble for the, uh, what you're doing. I hope this was helpful. Have a good day.